was on the 22nd day of September in the year of our Lord, 1862, a proclamation was issued by the President of the United States, containing amongst other things the following to wit, that on the first day of January, in the year of our Lord, 1863, all persons held as slaves within any state or designated part of a state, the people whereof shall be in rebellion against the United States shall be then, thenceforward, and forever free. And the executive government of the United States, including the military and naval authority thereof, will recognize and maintain the freedom of such persons, and will do not act or acts to repress such persons, or any of them, in any effort they may make for their actual freedom. That the executive will, on the first day of January aforesaid, by proclamation, designate the states and parts of states, if any, in which the people thereof, respectfully, shall then be in rebellion against the United States, and in fact, that any state, or the people thereof, shall on that day be in good faith, represented in the Congress of the United States, by members chosen thereto at elections, where in the majority of qualified voters of such state shall have participated, shall in the absence of strong countervailing testimony be deemed conclusive evidence that such state and the people thereof are not then in rebellion against the United States. Now therefore I, Abraham Lincoln, President of the United States, by virtue of the power in me invested as Commander in Chief of the Army and Navy of the United States, in time of actual armed rebellion against the authority and government of the United States, and as a fit and necessary war measure for suppressing said rebellion, do on this first day of January, in the year of our Lord, 1863, and in accordance with my purpose, so to do publicly proclaim for the full period of 100 days, from the day first above mentioned, order and designate as the states and parts of states within the people thereof respectively, on this day in rebellion against the United States, the following to wit. And by virtue of the power, and for the purpose aforesaid, I do order and declare that all persons held as slaves within said designated states and parts of states are and henceforward shall be free, and that the executive government of the United States, including the military and naval authorities thereof, will recognize and maintain the freedom of said persons. And I hereby enjoy upon the people, so declare to be free to abstain from all violence, unless in necessary self-defense. And I recommend to them that, in all cases when allowed, they labor faithfully for reasonable wages. And I further declare and make known that such persons of suitable condition will be received into the armed service of the United States, to garrison forts, positions, stations, and other places, and to man vessels of all sorts in said service. And upon this act, sincerely believed to be an act of justice, warranted by the Constitution, upon military necessity, I invoke the considerate judgment of mankind and the gracious favor of Almighty God. In witness whereof, I have hereunto set my hand and caused the seal of the United States to be affixed, done at the city of Washington, this first day of January, in the year of our Lord, 1863, and of the independence of the United States of America, the 87th, by the President Abraham Lincoln.